What's going on everyone? My name is Suboptimal and I'm just a typical Indian guy making videos about web development and productivity. In this video, we're going to learn how to build desktop applications with Electron.js and Vue using the Vue CLI. Just as a quick note, Electron is a framework that allows you to easily build desktop applications. So the most common sort of example is VS Code, but there's a ton of other applications that are also built with Electron.js. Most of you have probably used an Electron app, so learning how to build one with Vue.js is very useful. And here's a sample of an Electron app that I built recently. This is a UI clone of Messenger that I added Electron to. So today we're going to be going over how to get started with Electron inside of Vue.js. And before we get started, I'm just going to ask for one small favor from you guys. That is to leave a like for the YouTube algorithm. Now, I recently quit my tech job to make educational content on YouTube full time. And so it would really mean a lot if you guys could like the video because that's the best way to support me and this channel. With that out of the way, let's get started. So the first thing I want to show you guys is the project that I built that we're going to be adding Electron into. So let me CD into the proper directory. I'm going to CD out of here, CD into O3 Twitter. Now, if you guys have been following me on my suboptimal clone series, then you must have already seen this. But otherwise, let me just show you guys. You got npm run serve. And we're just going to be bringing up the Twitter UI clone that I built two, three weeks ago. So this is the Twitter UI clone that I built a few weeks ago. And what I want to do is convert this clone into a desktop app. Now, I built this clone using Vue.js and Tailwind CSS with the Vue CLI. So that's a key thing to remember, right? One of the main issues that I had when working with Electron was figuring out which Electron framework to use. When I searched up Electron View on Google, I came across this very popular repository where they just gave you a Electron and Vue.js boilerplate. It was actually pretty hard for me to work with this because it was my first time working with Electron and I didn't really know how to set up Tailwind CSS and things like that with it. So it was pretty complicated to get things to work with Tailwind and you know the exact settings that I'm used to. So I went the other way and I went to the Vue CLI plugin Electron Builder. Now this isn't as popular as this uh, Electron starter pack, this boilerplate code, but it gets the job done and it works for my situation. So I have the Twitter UI clone here. And just as a quick sort of uh, overview, so I created a project with the Vue CLI. So I did like Vue add O3 underscore Twitter, and then I did CD into the directory and I ran Vue add Tailwind CSS. That's basically all I did to get this Twitter thing going. So now how do we add Electron to this project? It's actually very straightforward. So if you've built any project with the Vue CLI, all you got to do is run Vue add Electron Builder. That is so straightforward that I was just sort of shocked when I actually saw that this is how easy it is to do it. And I was getting ready to see a ton of bugs that I would have to deal with. I was preparing myself for a ton of debugging because usually it's never as simple as that. You know, something always breaks when you are working with, you know, different packages and things like that. But it turns out that it kind of just works out of the box. So let me show you guys, right? So I'm going to say choose Electron. I'm going to choose the uh, 11th version of it. And so it's basically adding the Electron configuration into my Twitter project. The main thing that you're going to need to know is that it's going to add this background.js file. Background.js file is what initializes Electron. It's how you sort of create your window and do all the basic stuff like that. Honestly, I didn't look too far into this, so I can't give you the exact details of what's going on. but. Um, just know that this is the file that gets added into your project directory and you can do a little bit of like setting changes if you want to change the width and height of the browser that's going to get opened you can change it here but nothing too crazy go to your package.json file and you will notice here that you have new scripts that you can run before what you do with a view cli project is you cd into it and you'd run like view uh, run i think is is npm run serve right that's what you usually do but now, uh, when you install Electron using the Vue CLI by doing a Vue add Electron Builder, a couple new scripts get added into your package.json. So now, in order to run your Electron project, you only have to change this one thing. So instead of running npm run serve, you run npm run Electron colon serve. And so if you press enter, 
and hopefully I have my fingers crossed right now because I don't want to deal with any errors but I'm pretty sure that this will work all right so now you guys can see that I got the Twitter clone working up and running and if I you know resize things it still works you know light dark mode still works everything is working as usual except this time it's running as a desktop application so that's how you can get quickly started with electron there's a lot more to it that's for sure but i think the main thing here is being able to get started so that you guys can you know get up to speed with working with whatever project that you want using a desktop app Let's do it from scratch just so you guys can see how it's done, right? I went into my dev directory. I'm going to cd into view tests and I'm going to do view create electron example. And so this is going to allow you to create a uh, view project. So again, we're just doing this from scratch just so you guys can see how it's how simple it is to work with the electron, uh, you know, how to add electron into your project. So we're just going to select some defaults. And so that's going to just create the view project. So I'll see you guys as soon as that's done. Cool. So now we've created our view project. So let's just see how it's running. So we can just let me CD into electron example. And let me do a npm run serve. If I refresh this browser, we should see the sample view template. Now let's add, you know, Tailwind CSS because that's the framework that I suggest that you guys use. That's the one that I'm going to be using for all of my future projects. So let me just do a view add Tailwind. This is a quick way to add Tailwind into your view project if you opened it up with the view CLI. There are a few things you're going to have to configure, but Again, this is just for the purpose of the demo. Like, I'm not teaching you guys how to add Tailwind here. I'm just going to teach you guys how to add Electron into your view project. Just is just going to se select some of the basic features, and let me just add Tailwind functionality into the code. So I'm going to you know put a div here, right? And we're just going to say class BG red. And let's just do red 500, and let's just say hi here. So we should see that Tailwind is working because this is a Tailwind class. And you know, I'm gonna save that as it gets installed. Do an npm run serve, and what this should do is we should just see a red high, like like a high text with a red background on top of it. And all I want to show right now is that we created view project, we added Tailwind, and the last thing we're gonna do is set it up with Electron. So let me just refresh this page, and you guys should see. Yep, there you go. You got that high with that red background. So now let's convert this into a Electron app. And again, it's very simple to do so. You just do npm, sorry, you do, my mistake, you do view add electron, I think it's builder, right? It's electron builder. Anyway, you run view add electron builder. It's gonna do all the uh, hard stuff for you guys, so nothing to worry there. Um, and I'll see you guys once it's uh, completed. And so that's gonna be installing. Again, that background.js file is up and running. And so all I expect to do to get this Electron desktop app to work is to run the package.json file command that's recently been added, right? And that command is npm, oops, let me clear this thing, npm run Electron serve. So this should feasibly give us this thing inside of a desktop app. And let's see if it does or if it doesn't. There we go. We got it working and we got that red high now i'm not sure why it starts off in dark mode like that to be honest but you know it is what it is you got electron working inside of vue.js with tailwind css and that's going to be it for today's video hopefully you guys learned how to set up vue.js with electron how simple it is with the view cli and yeah so that's going to be it for today's video uh let me know what you guys think just leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content or just you know just to support you know i'm not going to complain if my you know youtube ad revenue goes from 70 cents to about uh, one dollar or so that would be nice to be honest that would be pretty nice anyway thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys next time